I'm going to show a quick setup for the um, PIC 16F 18446 Curiosity Nano board. Um, this is the board here, a lovely little set of boards that a microchip provide for easily um, programming, debugging using a simple USB interface. All the debugger is on board here. Uh, and then this is the target device for this particular board. Um, you can see how it's, the details are here. We've got um, an onboard LED, we've got a push button for this device to play with. Uh, and then this half over here is the, um, the debugger, which will talk to MP Lab for us. Um, so uh, we'll see how simple that is to set up. Just run MP Lab X. Okay, so here we have MP Lab X running, and down here you can see the little uh, the boards I'm using. This is the uh, 446 here. Let's set up a new project and um, see if we can um, find it. Plug the board in first. So you can see the board's enunciated as um, a G drive, a uh, Curiosity G. Uh, you can see it on my um, Windows File Manager. Uh, put that on one side for now. And um, immediately, uh, first thing it shows us is a kit window. Um, the kit window for this uh, particular nano board comes up. It's saying we've got some resources to look at. We've got a user guide you might be interested in, um, in working through. User guide is um, probably very similar to the, the initial one I showed you. There it is. Um, everything you, you should need to know in terms of uh, the communications and uh, interfacing to that. Um, schematics, um, very useful. We'll have a look at the schematics. Um, we might want to know um, which uh, particular pins things are on. So uh, let's have a quick uh, check on there. Yes, here we have we've got a user LED. Uh, we've got the user button and they're identified which particular pins they go to. So we'll come back to that um, a little bit later. Um, we've also got some examples if you have a look on here. Um, MCC is the um, the plugin, uh, the code configuration plugin, which uh, allows us to set up um, peripherals and code very, very quickly. Um, the examples for that we've got here, haven't tried any of these. We've got a door knock sensor, sounds useful. Um, a model rocket data logger, that does sound interesting. Uh, and, uh, and some other things. So presumably using a um, little bit of hardware, in this case, the microelectronic uh, click boards um, and so on, you can um, set up uh, and get running very, very quickly with um, uh, different projects to see how um, the, um, the Curiosity Nano can be made to control those. So we're going to set up a new project um, based on the uh, 446. So we go to File, New Project. Um, so standalone, um, it's one of the mid-range 8-bit micros. Let's see, 16F18446. We do have a tool in this instance. Uh, it helps if you do have a tool selected. Uh, it gives you access to some of the resource, but um, I think I might have done this already. We're going to use the compiler and I'm going to create a new folder create a new folder and it's demo with a bang in front demo one open call the project D1. Okay, here's our project set up. And we'll click MCC. This is the plugin for MPLAB X. It um, allows you to drive all the peripherals and libraries um, with um, very, very uh, quickly set them up without uh, a lot of effort. I'm going to save the uh, configuration file for MCC. And here you see we have some initial resource to play with. We've got um, internal oscillator clock speed and some other um, standard um, um, peripherals and configuration registers to set. I'm just going to set up a very simple 8 meg clock divided by 1. Uh, that should be plenty for what we need. 
We'll have a look at the available resources on there. You can see these are all the different things you can set up. ADC and uh, um, the CLC is very useful to um, set up from this page. Have a look at one of those actually. You can see that so you've got the different configurations of logic um, peripherals which you can bring in and 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 all together to give a particular output configuration an interrupt or an output pin you may be interested in using. But not today. Um, we're going to just be interested in flashing LED. <laughs> so um, go to our pin module. And down here we've got um, the um, bits, all the um, I.O. bits we can set up for um, that device. So we're going to have a look at, uh, now we, we need to know um, which pin that uh, LED was on. So let me just find that uh, data sheet again. And we can see the LED is on uh, RA2 and the switch was on RC2. So RA2 is the one we're interested in. We're going to go to RA2 on here and set it to be an output. Okay, um, that puts it into our um, pin module and we can um, give it a custom name should we want to. Let's call it Y LED or yellow LED. Don't need any analog function. It is an output and that's pretty much it for MCC. So we can tell it to generate that. We're happy with that. That will give us um, a main.c um, file. It will generate all of the code to talk to that particular pin. Nothing else at the moment. Generation is complete. So we go to our project uh, source files. We do have a main.c. There it is. OK, nothing in it yet, but um, we can very quickly uh, put something in there to test it. We need to be able to program this um, this board. This is uh, how MP Lab can interface to the Curiosity boards very, very nicely. So let's open up the configuration for uh, the dashboard and have a look. When you go to the building tab here, when we click build for our particular project, um, we've got some options we can do. This is an interesting one. Execute this line after build. So click that box and we can type in the um, instruction there to copy the hex file over onto that term G colon. Um, on completion of the build. Now that term um, is all you need to do to program the device. So here is our um, G drive, Curiosity G. By dumping a hex file into here, uh, that will program it for us. So I'm just going to put in the instruction, which is copy. Um, the syntax is dollar, open curly braces, image path. Close curly braces onto G colon slash. OK, that. So that will complete and it will transfer the code over onto our little curiosity board. You see, um, by default, the, um, the output set is off, set to low, and so the LEDs come on. We can test that by putting in a very simple code. So um, I think it's called Y. LED, is it Y LED? Yes, if you, if you hold control and space, it brings up the options there. So uh, I'm going to set it to low. Um, it was um, pulled high through a resistor, so driving it low should turn the LED on. Set a small delay, uh, 200 milliseconds. Oops. Set it high again to turn the LED off. I let set high and five hundred milliseconds of period. I see a typo there. Okay, there's our code to flash the LED. So again all we need to do is build that code. Watching on the board here as it completes the um, the build and the code is automatically sent to the board and we've got our 200 milliseconds on, 500 milliseconds off, code running. Very simple.